Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to walk you through the basic steps on how to set up a solar power system and how it works. The last time I did one of these was about three years ago and I've had a lot of requests. A basic solar system, all you need is four components and three connections. What you need is a solar panel and a charge controller, a battery, and then at the end, an inverter to make all of that work. And I am going to show you the very basic, easy steps. So let's walk through what's happening first. Basically, what we're doing is we're going to take the solar panel. We're, of course, going to put it into the sun when it's time. The sun will shine on the solar panel, and in the simplest of terms, it turns that into electricity. We store that electricity in a battery. That's the easiest way to say it. Now, different size solar panels produce more or less electricity. We don't want to go beyond the capability of our battery. Since we don't want to go on beyond the capability and burn the battery out, we need the charge controller. As the name implies, the charge controller, they're also called charge regulator, make sure that the solar panel doesn't put too much charge into the battery. And we are going to start our connections there. The first thing you want to connect, by the way, is your charge controller to your battery. The reason we want to do that is we want to have the solar ch charge controller read the battery so it will know what type, how many volts, and how exactly the battery is going to work. That's what charge controllers do. Also, if you connect the solar panel to this charge controller, you could very well burn it out. So, safety tip, charge controller to battery first. Now, to do this, we're going to need cables to connect them. Here I have two cables. They are both stripped on one end, as you can see, and they have a ring connector on the other. You can also get these with alligator clips, but for today, we're just going to use rings, and they will connect from the charge controller to the battery. If you look at the charge controller, you'll see right down here, it has a symbol of a battery right there, and on the other side, a symbol of a solar panel. We want the one with the battery. You'll also see there is a plus and a minus right in there. So we want to connect the plus to the positive of the battery, which is also a plus right there. And then the negative to the negative of the battery, which is right here. Let me show you how to do that. There is a lots of different charge controllers. I'm going to do a series of videos where we're going to talk about each of the four components and the different types and how they work. So with these, all you really need is a screwdriver. We're going to take one of the strips and we're going to put it into the positive. You just slide it in and then tighten it down. All of these, by the way, work basically the same. Basically, all charge controllers work the same. We'll get into some details, perhaps, when we do our video on charge controllers. Now, when you're doing this for real, you want to make sure these are very tight. But since I'm just doing demonstration purposes, just to show you that it's not very difficult. If shoestring can do it, you guys can certainly do it. Now, that was the positive. Next, we're going to do the negative. Same thing. We're going to slide it in. 
You want to get these connections as tight as you can. Now we're going to do the negative. And as we're screwing this on, take a quick look at the charge controller over there, and you can see it has come on. It is now powered. First connection complete. I said there was three. This is the first one. Charge controller to the battery. Okay, next what we have to do is connect the solar panel to the charge controller. As you can see, there's a little solar panel sign symbol there and another plus and minus. We're going to do the same thing. We put our plus in there and then we tighten it up. We take the negative, do the same thing. Now the solar panel is connected to the charge controller and it will start telling you how many amps are going into the battery. Right now you can see the sun and the arrow saying to the battery, but since we're not in the sun, the symbol just shows you that they're connected. Okay, and that is the second connection. The solar panel is connected to the charge controller, which will control the voltage going into your battery. Now, the last and final step, of course, will be, now that I have power stored in my battery, how am I going to use that? Well, the answer is really simple. We're going to use an inverter. This is a small 200 watt modified sine wave inverter. We simply take it, connect plus to plus, minus to minus, turn it on, and as you can see the light comes on, and it works. And now you can connect your devices into here, or you have two USBs on this one. All right, so now that we have the inverter, we turned it on, it's now working. We're going to take a little lamp just to show you how well this works. Plug it in and then turn our lamp on. We are now running the lamp from the battery with the power we stored from the solar panel. And it's just four pieces and three connections. This is not complicated. I don't want people to think doing solar is complicated. It is not. It's actually quite easy. And that's what I want everyone to get from these videos, that anyone can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. In fact, if you look at the charge controller, the numbers are jumping because we are drawing power from the battery. And the charge controller is trying to show you what the voltage on the battery is, just to let you see how it works. So if you have any questions on these, please put it in the comments. If you have any suggestions on what you would like to see, put that in the comments as well. And as always, like. That really helps these videos. Like, subscribe, and share. Shoestring out.